Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Sephora haul for you guys. So I ordered a few things online at the VIB sale that took place two weekends ago. And uh, since I'm shipping them to Canada, it takes a little longer to get them than most people. So I, I know everyone's videos are already up, but mine took a little uh, longer to get up because I only got my stuff back on Friday and I was working the whole weekend, so I didn't get time to film. So I'm going to break into it uh, right away. Uh, the There are two items that are not going to be shown in this video because I bought them specifically for um, Christmas presents for loved ones. So I'm not going to show them just in case they uh, like land on this video or whatever. Um, I don't want them to see what I got them for Christmas, so I'm just going to show what I got for myself. Um, there are some of these items that were like um, holiday sets, but they're not like limited edition. They're like sets that of products that are in the regular collection like things that i wanted to try out so maybe that gives you ideas of products that you might want to get like as gifts or stuff so i'm going to break into it the two like holiday sets that i got uh were this uh sephora favorites beauty unmasked um so this one gives you four little um deluxe samples of masks. It's, it retails for 29 US dollars and this is what you get inside. So I have one, two, three and the fourth one is right here. Um, so I wanted to try like these three masks were in my Sephora wish list for a while. So when I saw that like I could purchase like the, these three samples and there, this one I didn't know anything about but um, like it felt like a good deal to me and I'm out of all of my full size mask and I still have like two or three um, sachet samples and that's it and there's nothing that I like tried that I really love so since they were all on my wish list I decided to get this set so there's the origins uh, clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores this one is the Bosha luminizing black mask and this one is the Clam Glow Thirsty Mud, so the uh, eye dating treatment. Um, this is something that I like. Like, I, well, this not this one specifically, I don't know about. But the other one, like, I usually uh, take something that's irritating after a deep pore uh, mask because I think that it like gives back to your skin and stuff. So. This one is one that I really want to try out, and then this little one that I haven't really heard of uh, at all is the P3 Thomas Roth uh, Cucumber Gel Mask. So this one is also supposed to be like a deep pore or something. Um, yeah, it's a it says to be hydrated, hydrate, blah, 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 extreme detoxifying hydrator. So I. I'm going. I'm looking forward to trying like all of these ones, and I'm gonna let you know if there's anything really worth it in it. Then the other little set that I did get um, is this little set from Tarte, and it's one of their like smaller gift set, and it was like nineteen dollars. And the reason that I did get that one, I'll show you the three little products, is that. I have been wanting to try the maracuja eye cream for a very long time and I was completely out of all my nighttime eye creams. I still have like my daytime one which is one that I am so so about but I'm going to use it up no matter what. And um, I've been trying to, uh, wanted to try that one and at some point there was like a little a set that you could get, I think it was like $15 or something, that you got the um, maracuja oil and the little sample. For something like $15 and I missed out on that one like a year ago so when I saw that I could get them for like 19 I was like yay I'm going for it because I had heard uh, great reviews about that one so it's not opened yet I can't wait to start using it I was just um, wanting to like film the video first and then use it up um, and the maracuja oil I already own the little sample of that one and I really did enjoy it. It's comparable to the Josie Marin Argan Oil, uh, the light version. I think it's not as thick and rich as the um, regular one, but as the uh, light one. And I like using that like at the daytime or something. So I'm happy to get one of that because I was running pretty low on my other one. And then the other little product that I got is this little um, cheek stain. So the packaging is adorable. As for the um, maracuja oil, like this one has 
like those little details on the top that don't really usually come with it. And uh, this little cheek stain, I'm going to open it up. It's completely sealed. I like having products that I can apply with my fingers or just blend it with my fingers um, in my purse because sometimes I just put on my makeup as I'm going to work. So I think that these are super amazing for that. I'm just going to give you a little swatch. Oh, it's pretty sheer though. It's very sure. So this is the color, and this right here is my swatch. I don't know if you can tell. It's definitely on the sheer side. It's a nice little pinky flush. So I'm excited to try that one out, but I thought it was going to be a little bit deeper than this. But anyway, we'll see how it works out. And technically, like, if those two were 15 bucks, um, this cost me, like, $4, which isn't really all that bad. So, this is like the um, sets that I got. For the rest of the items that I did get, like on larger side, I did get the um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana, the black perfume. Um, I didn't open it yet uh, because I also received the little like tiny sample for that same perfume. And I'm currently working on the sample because I want to make sure that I like it. And if not, I can return it. So I, when I ordered, I also ordered the tiny little sample. This way I could um, decide like if it fits well on my skin and if it lasts long enough. I've tried the sample for like two days now and I've been really enjoying it. So um, I definitely should be keeping that one and breaking into that one. Then I purchased this little Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo. Um, this one I really like the packaging of it because it's gonna. I think it's gonna be better than the Lush one just for the packaging and how you can like directly apply it. I am um, pretty much almost done with my Project Pan uh, Lush uh, Dry Shampoo, and I like having one that is um, in a powder form that's not in a spray form, just because for traveling for your gym bag and stuff, I think it's. Um, more travel friendly than the spray form so uh, I heard good reviews about that one so I wanted to try it out to replace my Lush one with and then the two other little items that I get that I got um, are this little um, Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. This was also in my wish list of mascaras that I wanted to try out. So when I saw that I could get it as a 100 point perk, I jumped on it and I'm excited to try that one out. And the last item that I got at checkout um, for your like um, your free samples is this uh, Glam Glow Power Mud Gel Cleanse Treatment. I was really happy to see that it was still uh, in stock, like the sample was still in stock when I purchased uh, my order because I've been wanting to try that mask out for ages. And uh, Glam Glow masks are definitely expensive, and the only one that you can try in the smaller version is the black one. You cannot get this one or the blue one in the smaller version. And um, I wasn't convinced about the black one or the white one either. Um, so I was like frisky about buying the full size of something that I wasn't sure that I was going to like, but getting the sample this way um, at the next sale that they were having. I know that. They're supposed to be going in December, and usually there's somewhat, something uh, around March or April that is lower in percentage, but that there, there is still stale. Uh, if I end up liking that sample, I might pick it up then. So I'm super excited about the sample as well. So this is all that I got at uh, this uh, sale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions on any of the items that I did purchase, just leave them in the um, comments down below. And I will gladly answer any of your questions. I might have another like quick collective haul coming up, coming up either this week or next week because I got a few pieces here and there over the last two or three weeks. So I might be showing you guys uh, that as well. Um, and I haven't purchased anything in uh, October, so I feel not as bad purchasing items now. Um, so this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.